of the Wikipedia. Now, what is Hello and welcome back to an academy. So let's quick meet PG myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and in this session we'll discuss about the uh, report. So starting with the An Academy, An Academy is India's largest learning platform where we get access to both the live and the recorded sessions. Learning from the India's top most educator for any mid examination, we need UG or the PG. Uh, completing the live T and Ds and studying on the device of a choice. Uh, with printed and digital, digital notes that are also being provided and around 25,000 of the MCQs. And icon subscriptions, an academy of prep leader has come together for the clinical interior essentials for the video lectures, Q banks, rapid revision notes, and the dream notes, with well such live badges, recorded sessions, Q banks, and the uh, comprehensive printed digital notes. Now, under plus category, for two years, it is around rupees 36,000. That is costing us around 1,500 per month. And for iconic subscriptions, it is around 58,500. That is 24348 mm, 24, per month. And please do use my code, that is Muskan 10, to get further 10% of the discount. Now, updated highly effective Q banks with 25,000 MCQs based on latest examination patterns and the detailed explanations. Now, special class features and going to interactive live sessions. We can do the polling for the learners, raise a hand feature, never miss a class because we'll get the notification for the same. Download the lecture notes and get the uh, access to the recorded sessions and that too, anytime and anywhere. Target need page 22 batches with best lectures, batch modules, GTs, live test, and the practice questions with the focus FMG batches that is for the six month and the best of the batches FMG, GTs, recorded sessions, Q banks, and the practice questions. Also, uh, <clears throat> yes, so uh, we'll start with the trematodes. So these were the basic features of the trematodes that they are what they are the leaf-like and plus they are what unsegmented. We moved from sister trematodes to the nematodes and that was the tape-like segmented, leaf-like segmented and the elongated but trematodes and the nematodes they are unsegmented. Sexes are not separate, but one exception was over there that was cystosoma that is having the uh, sexes separate, that is they are dioecious and coming to the uh, and heads and the hooks. Suckers with the hooks are present in the cystodes with the no hooks and no suckers and the no hooks in the nematodes. Elementary canal is present in the trematodes, but that is what that is incomplete. While it is in the nematodes, it is present as well as complete and with that of the body cavity that is also present in case of the nematodes. While the body cavity is absent in the nematodes. So, we'll start with the nematodes now. Yes, so starting uh, with the General first, starting with the general features of the trematodes. Now, starting with the general features. Now, for what are the agents? We'll see the mnemonic for the agents. That what are the agents that belongs to the uh, trematodes? And we have a list of the agents in the trematodes. And these are what the these are the agents are the cystosoma that is the blood fluke that is the oriental blood fluke. Then we have the fasciola hepatica that is the liver fluke as well as the fasciola busci that is the intestinal fluke. Then we have the paragonimus vestimony that is the lung fluke, chloronchus sinensis and the opisthorchus. Chloronchus sinensis that is also known as the Chinese <coughs> liver fluke or oriental liver fluke. So, other names are also important for the paragonimus. It is the oriental uh, 
lung fluke for the fasciola hepatica that is the sheep liver fluke for the fasciola busca it is the intestinal fluke then we have the chloronychus that is c4c that is the chinese liver fluke or the oriental liver fluke and the cystosoma that is the oriental blood fluke now talking about the infective form that is important to remember it is the metacercaria larva that is infective for all the trematodes but as i told you there is also one exception exception is that we are having the cercaria cercaria larva that is the infective form in case of the cystosoma Now, what is the definitive host? The definitive host is the men, and the intermediate host is the what the snail and the aquatic plants for the fasciola hepatica and the busci, mm -hmm. and for the uh, crab fish uh, for that paragonimus as well as the chloronychus sinensis and the opisthorchus. So we'll make a list for that. Yes, so talking about the two intermediate hosts, now they are having the two intermediate hosts. One exception again is the cystosoma, there is only one intermediate host. So, what did we study till now? The agents and the infective form that is a metacercaria, except from the cystosoma that is a cercaria, also it is having only one intermediate host, and rest of them are having the two intermediate hosts. Now, talking first about the fasciola, first talking about the Fasciola for all of them, men is the intermediate host, and for the fasciola, what is the uh, intermediate host first? That is the snail and the aquatic plants. Then talking about the Chlorinorchis again, men is the definitive host, and the snail and the fish is the intermediate host. Talking about the Opisthorchis again, men is the definitive host, and the snail and the fish is what the definitive uh, second intermediate host now moving next mode of the transmission now mode of the transmission for all the trematodes for all the trematodes it is by the ingestion of the second intermediate host whether it be the aquatic plants in case of the fasciola hepatica or the busci or whether it to be fish in the chloronychus opisthorchus or paragonimus and that is containing what infective form that is the metacercaria but again we have one exception that is the cercaria in case of the cystosoma where the infective form is what the cercaria because the cystosoma is only having the single uh, intermediate host not like a two intermediate host like other other trematodes so that is the what is the infective form that is the cercaria yeah hi good afternoon so now talking about cystosoma we remember just remember that cystosoma is an exception one is this s for s it is having the cercaria as the infective form that is the cercaria just to remember as for a cercaria that is the infective form while the rest of the trematodes it is the metacercaria another is why s for s it is by the skin penetration it is again important question that is by the skin penetration by the cercaria all right that is the skin penetration by the cercaria. Now, what is the all the trematodes are what the oviparous that is the lay eggs and what is the diagnostic form for all of them? They are what having the operculated eggs. In, if you remember in the cystodes, we remember it was the non operculated eggs we are having, but uh, one exception was there that was a diphalvobatrum letum that was having the operculated egg for that as a diagnostic form. Now, for the cystosoma, again, cystosoma is ex uh, forming an exception everywhere. Now, one is the cercaria, other by the skin penetration, and the demonstration of what again non operculated egg. We'll also see we'll individually cover the trematodes. Uh, after the general characteristics all the trematodes are hermaphrodite that is they are having the sexes that are not separate in the initial table we, when we compared cysto trematodes and the nematodes we remember the cystosoma again forms an exception and here the sexes are separate so if you remember s4s that is the cercaria that is the infective form s4s as that is by skin penetration by the cercaria s4s as that is the sexes are what separate 
what is the drug of the choice the drug of the choice is what the praziquantel also uh, the drug of the choice for the stores if you remember was the praziquantel but one mnemonic we remember that was the hat that here the praziquantel was not the drug of the choice that was the h was for the high dated cyst and t was for the tinea for them the albendazole was the drug of the choice similarly here also the praziquantel is the drug of the choice but for the fasciola it is the triclobenzadol all right so that was a list of the general characteristic agents the infective form metasurfiria surfiria for the cystosoma definitely host is men having the two intermediate host that is first will be the snail and for the fasciola it is the aquatic plants and for the um, chloronchus opisthorchus and the paragonimus it is the snail and the fish mode of the transmission is by the second intermediate host that is by consumption if it is the fish then eating the fish or by the aquatic plant that is the second intermediate host having the metasarcaria but cystosoma that is the sarcaria all the trematodes are the oviparous diagnostic form is operculated egg again forming an exception that is cystosoma and again forming an exception cystosoma where sexes are separate drug of the choice is praziquantel and for the fasciola the drug of the choice is what triclobenzazole just remember it is how we write the f it is how we write the just to remember t that is the triclobenzazole that is the drug of the choice for the fasciola now this is the mnemonic for the intestinal oh sorry i put the mnemonic for that of the uh, nematodes now coming to the next uh, trematode that is the first trematode that is a cystosoma hematobium so that is cystosoma what is known it is also known as the oriental blood fluke all right and it resides where we talking about the hematobium something that is concerned with the blood that is in the vesicle and the pelvic blood vessels we have three cystosoma that is a cystosoma uh, soma hematobium cystosoma mansoni and the japonica that is having the clinically importance and we need to remember uh, the where they resides in the human body so talking about the cystosoma hematobium cystosoma hematobium then we have the mansoni and the japonica very important to remember now hematobium just right it is a hematobium that is it is having what the terminal spine it is having what the terminal spine then it is the mansoni that is having the lateral spine and the japonica just like remember like japan people are small that is the spine is rudimentary that is the rudimentary or no spine all right now next about again the hematobium where does it resides in the vesicle and the pelvic venous plexus and it resides in the inferior mesenteric vein and it resides in superior mesenteric vein remember japonica like just like japan the people are superior in advancement but they are smaller so they are uh, they are having the rudimentary spine but they are residing in the superior mesenteric uh, vein <clears throat> now
so that was about the cystosoma now uh, residing in the uh, vesicle and the pelvic venous plexus associated with the hematuria obviously because it is residing in the uh, uh, venous plexus that is associated with that of the hematuria hydroureter and the hydronephrosis Uh, also responsible for causative agent for that of the squamous cell carcinoma causing the bladder carcinoma the three differentiating points within uh, within that of the cystosoma hematomium mansoni and the japonica are important uh, specifically when uh, they are where they residing uh, someone is asking about the drug uh, dosage of the praziquantel now Praziquantel, that is a drug of the choice for most of the trematodes, but one exception was there. It was Fasciola hepatica, the uh, Fasciola that was the triclobenzadol, that was a drug of the choice. Uh, if it is in the children that we are giving, it is around 600 mg that is given. And if it is in adults, I am not very sure about this, but it is uh, what I uh, remember. If you can uh, reconfirm from the pharmacology, uh, from the uh, in case of the adults, it is around uh, we gave per kg body weight that is around 15 to 20 mg per kg body weight, and that is given around uh, three times per day, uh, around three times per day according to the body weight of the person. Also, the Pazikwanta is a drug of the choice for the cystos as well. So, this is a life cycle for the cystosoma. Just a second, my Wi-Fi is lagging, I guess. Yes. So, talking about the life cycle, now, uh, for most important thing to remember is the infective form. What is the infective form? We remembered cystosoma. That is S4S, that is the sarcaria. I have intentionally written the spelling is that that is the sarcaria as the infective form by the S4S skin penetration and S4S sexes are separate. It is the only trematode that is having the sexes different uh, separate sexes while that is a dioecious while the other they are not having the different sexes in case of the cystodes and the trematodes. Now, talking about the sarcaria, that is the infective form and that is by the skin penetration. <clears throat> These are the eggs of the uh, this cystosoma, uh, cystosoma japonica malsund hepatobium and we will see the in which we have already seen in case of the japonica, if you see here. In the Japonica, there is no spine. We remembered Japonica, there, is super, there are people that have the superiority found where in the superior mesenteric vein but they are smaller in height so they having the rudimentary spine. Mansoni that is the inferior mesenteric vein and the hematobium what is this uh, what is the site where they are residing that is the pelvic venous plexus. Now talking about the egg we have seen that is egg is what having the terminal spine because that is we remember hematobium that is having what the terminal spine antibody detection by method that is a hammer fast method elisa method and that is using the cystosomia hematobium adult worm antigen what is HAMA that is hematobium adult microsomal antigen and we use the western blot test that is a specific apart from this antigen we have next antigen that is the cathodic antigen just remember the name one is the hammer and one is the CCA antigen another is the CAA antigen in the serum. It indicates the recent infection and can be used for the treatment. Although no such uh, as such question is asked from the antigen point of from the cystosoma. Now, if you see, this is the egg that is a diagnostic form, and you can see that is having what the terminal spine over the end. Cystosoma mansonia hematobium T40 that is the terminal spine japonica that is the rudimentary spine having the no spine or rudimentary spine cystosoma mansoni that is having what the lateral spine moving next to the x that is the oval or the round and uh, x comparison we have done this is the measurement uh, although just remember the spine where is lateral where is terminal and where there is rudimentary spine you can see small thickening over the end that is the rudimentary Fine. Now coming to the next Manzoni, where does it resides? It resides in the inferior mesenteric vein and having what? Lateral spine. 
Now, common in the Africa and South America, need to remember where does it resides? That is again important question residing in the inferior mesenteric pain, draining the sigmoid rectal region. Clinical manifestation of the mansoni are important, responsible for causing the swimmer's itch. That is an allergic hypersensitivity reaction. That is also known as the circarial dermatitis. Next, it causes the kata yama fever. and the chronic cystosomiasis. So that is the Katayama fever, serum sickness like illness. Again, it is what? It is a kind of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. And the chronic name, chronic, that is leading to the fibrosis and the granuloma formation as a result of the deposition of the egg in the various organs. <clears throat> Along with the secondary bacterial infection, specifically, especially with the cell molina species. Again, what is the diagnostic form? Diagnostic form will be the egg, and the egg is having the lateral spine, and the egg they are what the acid fast. So this is the egg of the Mansoni that is having the lateral spine, that is the having the lateral spine and the acid fast egg. Swimmers itch that is the allergic reaction in the person and it is a kind of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction resulting into the dysentery and the eosinophilic diarrhea. Remember the name that is a swimmers itch. Again we are having another kind of uh, fever that is the Katayama fever again by the sisters of Mansoni seen mainly in the travelers and the children and the swimmers itch in the lower extremities and the systemic hypersensitivity reaction that is a cosmic type 3 type of hypersensitivity reaction. Patient will present with the fever, arthralgia, diarrhea, headache and the hepatomegaly and even splenomegaly. Next is the Cystosomnia japonica that is residing in the superior mesenteric vein draining the ileocecal region. Clinical features are similar to the Mansoni but it is more severe due to the high egg production and the smaller size of the egg. And the egg in the stool is again diagnostic form because that is not having any, uh, any that is having rudimentary lateral spine. So that will uh, just summer us will uh, Concise the cystosomia. What are the points we need to remember? First is that they are by the skin penetration. Cercaria is the larval form, and the sexes are the separate. Talking about the hematobium T40 having the terminal spine residing residing into the pelvic venous plexus vesicle and the pelvic venous plexus. Talking about the Mansoni M that is in the inferior mesenteric vein and what is the clinical presentation that is a swimmer's itch, Katayama fever and talking about the Japonica that is the rudimentary spine with a presence in the superior mesenteric vein draining the ileocecal region. Now coming to the next one that is the fasciola hepatica which is also known as the sheep liver flu. All the other synominal names of the cystotrametodes and nematodes are very important and we need to remember because uh, even the direct name will not be given but the other layman's language name or the synonym names will be given in the question. Name is the what the sheep liver fluke. So, what is the definitive host is either sheep or the men. Again, we talked about the fasciola hepatica. If you remember, that is having all the trematodes, uh, that is having the two intermediate hosts, but one again was the exception that was a cystosoma. Now, sheep liver fluke, that is the definitive host is men, and what is the first and the second intermediate host? First is the snail and the second intermediate host is what the aquatic plant. Alright, most of the most uh, mode of the transmission is the mode of the transmission. If we are having the two intermediate host, mode of the transmission will be obviously by the consumption or ingestion of the second intermediate host containing that particular larval form that will be the infective form. And the infective form for all the trematodes are what? Metasarcaria exception against cystosoma. And it is by the ingestion of the aquatic plants contaminated with the infective form that is the metasarcaria. Clinical manifestations will be resulting into the hepatomegaly. And it is due to the eating the sheep liver and even responsible for causing the bile, the important point that is the bile duct obstruction.
Diagnostic form will be again egg and what are the eggs in the trematodes that are operculated egg but one exception was there that was again cystosoma that is having non-operculated egg. So, amongst the trematodes, cystosoma is forming an exception. So, keep cystosoma aside of the general characteristics of the trematodes. Yes, now this is the fasciola hepatica we are talking about and uh, this again the swimming uh, cercaria insists uh, on the aquatic vegetations and on the aquatic plants we are having the infective form that is the meta cercaria present on the vegetations either the men or the sheep that is the definitive host and the immature flux exists in the duodenum and penetrates the intestine and mi migrate to that of the liver responsible for causing the hepatomegaly and obstructing the biliary ducts causing the bile duct obstruction. So, sheep liver fluke, human inf infection from eating the wild aquatic plant symptoms we have discussed hepatomegaly, jaundice, anemia and the bile duct obstruction leading to that of the fatty food intolerance. Next is the Yes, so next we will talk about the fasciola busci. So, talking about the fasciola busci, that is uh, again for the fasciola, the definitive host will be the men for as well as the pig and what is the intermediate host will be the snail. First intermediate host and the second intermediate host will be again for the aquatic plants. So, fasciola busci that is the intestinal fluke and it is the largest fluke. Remember, it is the largest fluke. It is the intestinal fluke busci and the definitive host is the men or the pig. Mode of transmission is obviously by the consumption of the second intermediate host that is the aquatic plants containing the infective form that is the metasarcaria. Again, just the metasarcaria presenting with the GIT symptoms and the diagnostic form again will be the operculated egg but again exception in the opera that is for the trematodes that was cystosoma that is having the non-operculated egg. That is a pig that is the definitive host, it is a pig or the men that is a definitive host and you can see on the aquatic plants, we are having the metasarcaria infective form that is you know, present on the aquatic plants ingested by the men and exist in the duodenum presenting with the GIT symptoms and the um, unembryoed egg passed into the feces, uh, the operated egg is passed into the feces that matures into that first intermediate host that is the snail. You see in the first intermediate host the cercaria is uh, it is developed to that of the stage of the cercaria. Therefore in case of cystosoma the first intermediate host uh, the infection will be the consumption by the first intermediate host that is containing the infective form that is the cercaria. Now coming to the next that is the paragonimus vestimony. For the paragonimus vestimony that is also known as the lung fluke. And definitive host will be again the man and the intermediate host first will be the snail and the second intermediate host will be the fish or the crab. Mode of transmission will be by the consumption of the second intermediate host that is containing the infective form that is the encyst meta cercaria and this is in the right lung leading to the granuloma formation and cerebral and the cutaneous paragonimus with golden brown sputum. Diagnostic form will be same that is the operculated egg and they are generally found in which region of India that is the Manipur. Remember the uh, infective form and the definitive and the intermediate host and it is endemic in the Manipur. Again, that is the uh, for the paragonimus that is the crab or the fish is the second intermediate host and the human ingest the crab or the fish, fish containing the uh, ancestral metasarcaria form which exists in the duodenum and the adult moving into the cystic cavities into the lung and to the brain 
and the alternative eggs are swallowed and the passed into the stools that is a diagnostic form that is a embryoted egg is passed into the stool that is the operculated egg egg of the paragonimus that is the liver fluke golden brown in the color oval in the shape and that containing unsegmented ovum we will also take a, a different class for the eggs of different uh, trametodes, cystodes and the uh, nematodes. We will discuss separately the eggs as well because they are quite confusing. Hmm. Sorry, that was the uh, paragonimus, that is the lung fluke. Liver fluke is the fasciola. Now, coming next, that is the chloronchus sinensis. Now, C4C that is the Chinese liver fluke or the Oriental liver fluke. Definitive host is again for the men, and it is the same intermediate host. Is first will be the snail, and the second intermediate host will be same as that of the Paragonimus, that is the fish or the crab. Mode of transmission will be again by the consumption of the second intermediate host that is contaminated with the encysted metacercaria, resulting into the uh, into the bile duct obstruction and the dilatation, leading to the cholangiocarcinoma. Remember C4C that is the Chinese liver fluke and the cholangiocarcinoma important one in the cholangitis and diagnostic form that is the flask shaped operculated again operculated egg into the stool. This is the chloronchus sinensis. What is the infective form again? The metacercaria is the infective form ingested by the uh, Definitive host that is the men which exist again in the duodenum and the emerald egg is released into the feces and that is again ingested by the snail that is the first intermediate host and that is ingested by the second intermediate host that is the fish. <coughs> Okay, now we'll complete, uh, we'll just revise in 5-10 minutes and then we'll the question answers for both the cystodes and the trematodes. First, we'll do for the trematodes, uh, then we'll do some important questions again for the cystodes in the next session in just few minutes. So just revising it. Okay, so we started with the trematodes. These were the agents that is the cystosoma, that is the blood fluke, fasciola hepatica, that is the liver fluke, busky, that was the intestinal fluke, paragonimus, that is the lung fluke, chloronchus, that is the Chinese liver fluke. And the infective form was the metacercaria for all of them, but cercaria for the cystosoma. Definitive host is the man and intermediate host we will respectfully discuss. Mode of transmission is by the ingestion of the second intermediate host, but for the cystosoma, it is by the skin penetration by the cercaria larva and all the trematodes they are what the oviparous diagnostic form is what the operculated egg again exception that is the non-operculated egg in case of the cystosoma all are hermaphrodite that is they are having uh, no the sexes are not separate but in case of the cystosoma the sexes are what they are separate praziquantel is a drug of the choice but exception is the fasciola where triclob bendazine bendazole is the drug of the choice she, uh, cystosoma hematobium that is having the terminal spine and where does it reside? The vesicle and the pelvic venous plexus resulting in the hematuria and the hydronephrosis along with the bladder carcinoma. Egg is the terminal spine along with that we do the hammerfast and the CCA uh, antigen and the uh, CAA antigen circulating uh, antigen in the serum. These were the eggs for the cystosoma mansoni hematobium and the japonica. You can see for the mansoni it is a lateral spine. For the hematobium it is what the terminal spine and the japonica that is what having rudimentary lateral spine. Then cystosoma common in the Africa, monsoon resides in the inferior mesenteric vein that is draining the sigmoid rectal region responsible for the swimmers itch and the katayama fever again hypersensitivity type of reaction with the chronic cystosomniasis and the secondary bacterial infection. Diagnostic form will be the egg with the lateral spine 
and this is a swimmer's itch that is the immediate high type one hypersensitivity type of reaction in the sister soma somnia mansoni this is a katayama fever type 3 hypersensitivity then we have the japonica that is residing into the superior mesenteric vein and draining the ileocecal region Facial hepatica that is the sheep liver fluid and what is the mode of the transmission that is by consumption of the second intermediate host that is a aquatic plant containing the encyst metasarcaria and the diagnostic form is what the operculated operculated egg uh, exception was the cystosomnia that is having non-operculated egg. Facial busky that is also known as the intestinal fluke and it is the largest fluke definitive host is men as well as the pig and it is again by the ingestion of the second intermediate host that is the aquatic plants and the infective form was the cercaria. Paragonimus that is the lung fluke but it is found in the Manipur. Mode of transmission is by ingestion of the second intermediate host. Uh, containing the metasarcaria and cysting contaminated with the encysted metasarcaria resulting uh, involving the lung and resulting into the cerebral cutaneous paragoniasis as well as the granula formation in the lung. Talking about the chloronchus, where well, what is the definitive host? The definitive host is the man and the snail and the snail is the second uh, fish and the crab is the second intermediate host resulting in the cholangiocarcinoma, cholangitis and the diagnostic form is again operculated egg that is the that is the flask shape that is the flask shape operculated egg in case of the chloronchus. Alright, so Now we will continue uh, the session and we will discuss about the uh, question answers for the trematodes in the next one. So see you in the next session. Until that take care and bye bye and please do use my code that is muskan 10 to get 10% of the discount. Alright so take care and bye bye.